Hey there, Adam Ladolce from sexyconfidence.com and in this video right now, I'm gonna be sharing with you the seven old fashioned dating habits that I think it's time we brought them back. Now dating has changed more in the past 20 years than in all of human history. Now some of it is definitely for the better, but not all of it. Here are a few things that I think we can all agree we should definitely bring back. Number one, please put the fucking phone away. When you're on a date, all notifications should be shut off on your phone. I mean, don't go on airplane mode just in case you're on a date with a serial killer, but definitely go on do not disturb. It's that little half moon that's on your phone. This way you won't be distracted by in any incoming calls or texts. Number two, talking to someone on the phone before a date. Now personally, I used to love calling a girl after I got her number to go ahead and ask her out on a date. But after about five years ago, I noticed that no women ever picked up. But then five minutes later, I'd get a text response saying, I'd love to go out with you. Really people, you couldn't pick up the phone and call me back? Number three, complimenting someone. If he looks great, tell him he looks great. If he opens the door for you, tell him how he's being such a great gentleman. I feel like nowadays, no one compliments each other anymore. Number four, let a man lead the date. If a guy decides he wants to take you to a crappy dive bar, let him take you to that crappy dive bar and then judge him if it turns out to be a poor choice. Men are natural pursuers and we want to put in that effort in order to win you over. So let us put in that effort. And if he's lame enough to ask you where it is that you wanna go on that first date, then just say, you choose. Number five, going on a date with someone without first Googling them or looking them up on Facebook. First impressions are a critical component to attraction. But so often nowadays, we totally ruin that, that first impression by creeping on someone for hours before we go ahead and meet with them in person. Yes, I funneled beer in college, no, you shouldn't look at those pictures before we go on a date. Number six, letting a man pay for dinner if he wants to. Step one, he offers to pay. Step two, you take out your purse with a half-assed attempt to split it with him. Step number three, he says, I got it. Step number four, well, there is no step number four because it's over. Let the man pay. Number seven, being clear about what it is you're looking for in a relationship. Now in the old days, it was assumed that if you go on a date with someone, then you're clearly interested in a committed relationship. Now that's not necessarily the case. Now if you're looking for something a little more casual, then that's great. I don't judge you, I actually support that if that's what you want. But all I ask is that you be upfront about it. All you gotta do if that's what you're looking for is say six simple words. I'm not looking for anything serious. So there it is, the seven old fashioned dating habits that we need to bring back right now. And I wanna ask you, did I forget any? Go ahead and leave a comment there below. And if you want more videos like this every single week, all you gotta do is go ahead and click right here, yep, right there, or of course you can head on over to sexyconfidence.com and you'll gain access to really cool eBooks, secret videos, and webinars found nowhere else. And I'll teach you exactly how to be able to navigate today's very hectic dating scene. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a like on YouTube. That really helps me out a lot. And also don't forget to subscribe on YouTube by clicking right here, or you can hover over any of these guys so you can subscribe and get more videos just like this every single week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Why do I have to do construction when I'm doing this shoot? <laughs> okay.